Hello, 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 hello. I'm going to start again because I hadn't started the recording. Welcome everyone to Contemplative Comfort in Times of Pandemic. Um, everyone is muted now and then we'll unmute at the end when we have our sharing time. And my name is Kit Turn and I'm delighted to be here with you. So first, what um, we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, just talk for a little bit about the uh, Seferot HaOmer, because we've been doing that, the counting of the Omer based on qualities. So we're in the sixth week of counting the Omer, and this is the Hesed of Yesod, or which means bonding. And uh, bonding in the way of connection and devotion. And it's a, uh, sort of a channel between giver and receiver. And we know sometimes we're the giver, sometimes we're the receiver. It can go both ways. And it's kind of one of the foundations of life because we, everyone needs a form of uh, healthy bonding to flourish and grow. And we, and we all know about those uh, just uh, horrific, I don't know if the word was studies, but information coming out um, some decades ago about the orphanages in Romania, um, where you know physical needs were met, but there was no bonding and what that had led to. So, so we all need that. And it's a form of affirmation. We do have a sense of belonging in that way, helps to establish trust and then still confidence. So it's, it's really key. We're first going to do a, some um, guided gentle breathing. And if the pace I do for leading is not comfortable for you, go ahead and do breathing at your own pace. And for those of you who have been participating each week, I'm actually going to do a slightly different counting where I have our exhale a little longer than the inhale. So everyone, if you can um, sit comfortably, I think it's good if your back is uh, straight a bit, you don't want to be feeling in a feeling of slouching. And I'll, I'll lead us through eight rounds. So, inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, 
four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, come back to the room. So today I'm going to be doing an expanded uh, loving kindness blessing guided visualization. And um, I think one reason I'm facilitating this is I have been feeling a need also for this myself, this particular guided meditation and visualization. We'll be doing four phrases or blessings, freedom from danger, that may we have joy, may we have health, and may we be peaceful. And this time we're going to be directing them to more people. We'll do a round, and, and you don't have to worry so much about remembering what, what everything is, because I'll you know, guide us through that. We'll do the first round to ourselves, the second round to someone who inspires us or for whom we have gratitude, the third round to a loved one, the fourth round to someone who we have difficulty with or we have conflict with, and for today's gathering, do not choose a someone who you have intense feelings of negativity for. You can work your way up to someone like that over time if you choose to uh, continue this practice at home. But you don't start or things like that at that level. And um, then the last is to all beings everywhere. So first, before we start, I'm going to say each category again, except for ourselves. And, and I want you to take that time to think of someone who you uh, would like to use for that category. And, um, and then some people, uh, maybe for the love category or different things, might choose a pet sometimes. So. Uh, so that's fine. And also for the person for gratitude uh, or inspiration, of course, you do not need to have met them face to face, things like that. Okay, so first, think of someone who inspires you or for who you feel gratitude. Next, think of someone who you love, someone who you love. Oh, I realize I forgot a category and that is um, someone for whom you feel neutral. So that could be, that's probably very often someone you might not really know at all. So you don't feel, you know, any kind of strong feelings about this. It, it might even be someone you've never talked to, but you see periodically or someone. So pick a neutral person. Right, so um, now I think we did, uh, now pick someone who you have difficulty or conflict with. Okay, so um, I assume Everyone has uh, someone for each of the uh, categories that I said. And 
you'll be coordinating this with your breathing. I'll explain how this will work. So, for example, when, when I say, may I be, you'll be breathing in. Or I might, you know, and then when I say, free from danger, you breathe out. So when we're, the, the part where we're thinking of the person, you know, either yourself or someone by name, you breathe in. And then when I name <clears throat> the blessing or quality, you breathe out. And you'll be uh, silently repeating to yourself what I say. So when I say, may I be, you'll think to yourself, may I be. And you'll be sort of breathing in. And then when I say free from danger, you'll think to yourself, free from danger as you breathe out. If for any reason you find, oh, I forgot to think in my mind or this or that, fine. Just let it go and just, you know, sort of pick up where we are. So let's just try that together. May I be free from danger. Okay, so again, we're going to be, I'll go through each blessing and we'll do that for the different categories before moving on to the next category, next blessing for the different categories. But again, I'll be guiding us through each of this. So again, I invite you to sit comfortably, but not slouching. If you're comfortable doing so, I invite you to close your eyes. And we'll begin. First round person is yourself. May I be free from danger. This next round is the person who inspires you or you feel gratified for. And just fill their name in when I say, may be free from danger. Now a loved one, may be free from danger. Someone to whom you feel neutral, neutral. May, your name, be free from danger. Someone with who you have difficulty or conflict. May, their name, be free from danger. Now, all beings everywhere. May all beings everywhere be free from danger. May I be joyful. May the person who inspires me or to whom I feel great gratitude, may their name be free from danger. All loved ones, may they be free from danger. Now someone about whom you feel neutral, may their name be free from danger. Ooh. Let's start that one again, I'm sorry. May I be joyful. Person who inspires you or who you have gratitude. May they be joyful. Your loved one. May they be joyful. Someone about whom you feel neutral. May they be joyful. Someone who is difficult or who you have conflict with. May they be free, joyful. All beings everywhere. May they be joyful. May I be healthy. The person who inspires you or you feel gratitude for. May they be healthy. 
your loved one. May they be healthy. Someone about whom you feel neutral. May they be healthy. Someone who you find difficult or who you have conflict with. May they be healthy. May all beings everywhere be healthy. May I be peaceful. May someone who inspires you or you feel grateful for. May they be peaceful. A loved one. May they be peaceful. Someone about whom you feel neutral. May they be peaceful. Someone about with whom you have difficulty or conflict. May they be peaceful. May all beings everywhere be peaceful. Now, take two rounds of your own breathing. Wiggle your toes. Gently smile. Could be only internally or externally and internally. And open your eyes. Welcome back, everyone. I have a very short poem today. And it's by uh, Rabindranath Tagore. Who I, I love that poem. He was a Sufi. After you had taken your leave, I found God's footprints on my floor. It's definitely a case of B'Tselem Elohim, seeing the divine in everyone. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unmute people. I'm going to stop the recording, pause it, so people, and so now as we um, just bring back the recording just as we end, we'll do another, um, round, short round of guided breathing before we let you go. Check the web, the social solidarity or the listserv about next week. I don't know um, that whether I'll be able to participate uh, next week or not or when we'll resume because of some family obligations that I have. So we can, I'm delighted everyone was able to join us. So um, I will go ahead now and lead us through um, a, round, uh, a round of um, breathing. So, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, 
three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, Well, may you all go into the coming week with some equanimity. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're very uh, welcome. Good luck to you next week. Thank you. Thank you, Kit. Thank you, Lynn. It was just wonderful to see everyone. Thank you. So... And people can just go ahead and stay or leave as you, you know, when you, you can just do your own leave meeting. Huh? That's there. Okay, goodbye, Paul, and I will leave the meeting now and the meeting.